Medicare 1600 is done, refurbished, working well once more, looking a lot better than it once did. Let's have a look at how she turned out, see how she works now and fit the final missing piece of her puzzle. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this thing should look a heck of a lot brighter now because it wasn't too bad to begin with, but holy moly, it was so covered in a thick layer of carbon dust that it looks decidedly more whiter now after just a bit of a clean over with some Sith really and a bit of a buff over whistle wax. Haven't done anything else to this machine at all. Let us have a look at the top part which is pretty much the same as ever it was. The tools are pretty clean anyway. Handle did scrub up quite black. It always does with this textured plastic. You've got to really get in there hard but no that was that was pretty simple really the floor tool little dinky small floor tool it came up okay it's you know it's getting a little bit rusty but there's not much you can do the brushes cleaned up nicely haven't got a back strip where are we there for it because i couldn't find one but fairly easy to replace and it's ever so slightly sprung as well for reasons of probably keeping this hefty chunky thing up out of the floor and yeah this came up very well indeed oh i was a little bit concerned it was going to be a bit of a sob but note the motor unit sits inside a nice little cage it's all very logical all works very well indeed under here we have a bag fitted because i had to have the door shut so we already have a bag the bag door now does sit a fair bit truer what happens is it actually slides in and out on those those back clips slide in and out so i think it just got twisted at one point or other in its life and we've just fixed this and there's not really much else to say it is an incredibly boring machine for being so small what we can do though is again all the carbon dust washed out of there very nicely indeed we can take our 50 dollar filter from bed bath and beyond and i don't know if there's a specific way around i've got to fit this really or does it go into the lid oh, i think it goes into the lid first yes well, there you go there's a specific way around it goes but i think those tabs there do some lining up and there we go folks very nice indeed oh go find some electricity and plug this thing in. Oh, she looks clean, she smells clean. Does she work any better? Oh, it certainly does. It, it, it wasn't horrendous to begin with, I'll give it that. But yeah, all the rubber seals were horrible and it certainly feels a lot sharper now. So let's attach oh, everything back into place, oh, tilt you up just a little bit and yeah, check out how this leader stick back works now. Oh, move yourself to the carpet. But of course we can have the boring floor tool, or we can have the exciting one. The smooth, quieting sound of the Nina floor head. So get the picks up, right?
what sort of floor head might it have nowadays? Maybe an Ecotech Plus. Starting off on low. Oh, <laughs> this is so down already. That's, that's very good. Oh. Oh. That makes incredibly good use of the airflow that this machine has. But it is a fun machine indeed. So yes, another one is done for Mr. James. Obviously he won't be having that floor head. He won't be having this floor head. In fact, he gave me another one of these floor heads that I still don't really want. Then we've got to find something to do with that. Ah, he needs this floor head with this packet of bags. And I was going on about that floor head the other day. I found, look, this one is from an S5. And that is the size difference that I was on about. It is just ever so slightly smaller in every, every measurement. It's just a little bit smaller on it. So in fact, we could try with the big head, couldn't we? Probably won't make any difference at all. In fact, the small floor head does work in its favour because it's very tiny and compact. So, yeah, there we go. Added another one to that list. So, yes, thank you, Mr. James, for letting us experience this one and me giving it a well-needed washout. It is now very, very nice indeed, with all signs of its previous dust and carbon dust life removed. And it now is a Medicare Mini once more. So, have you ever had one of these or one of these style of the vacuums? There were obviously loads of other stuff. Comment down below. Do let me know. And until next time, I and probably another poorly old Mila will see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>